Hello Coffee Holics and Mocha Pot lovers out there. Welcome to another Mocha Pot episode. Well today it is going to be a question that is commonly asked by many. Should we use a paper filter with our Mocha Pot? Stay tuned until the end of this video clip and we're going to find out. I am going to show you two different Mocha Pots. One is a Mocha Pot Express, three cup Mocha Pot Express and a Mocha Pot Bricka with and without filter. Interesting experiment that I'm going to show you here today. For those who do not know what mocha pot is, mocha pots are inexpensive gadgets that can create espresso-like quality coffee using the stove top. It is said that most households in Italy will have one mocha pot. Well, perhaps it is time you own a mocha pot and you upgrade your coffee brewing process. Sometimes the beauty of having your coffee is in the preparation itself, so making it ceremonial. This is a slow bar, it takes a little bit of time, but it is perfectly worth it. Why do we need paper filter with our mocha pot? Mocha pots are designed not to use a paper filter because it already has a filter built in here. But adding the paper filter will just increase the filtration process, making the coffee, the resulting coffee cleaner, no sediments. Some of you might have had experience of having sediments in their coffee. Personally, I don't think it's because you are not using a paper filter. You might end up having sediments in your coffee if you are using the, the wrong grind of coffee. Second, using a paper filter makes the brewing process slower and resulting in a stronger brew and possibly adding more crema into your brewed coffee. Many of you might be wondering how is it that when you brew your mocha pot coffee, you don't get that beautiful crema and most of the time it is exploding and some of you might be completely turned off by that. Well, don't be. Here are a few tips that I'm going to share with you to make sure you get good tasting coffee brewed from the mocha pot and also possibly with a lot of crema. For those that have seen my book, The Basic Barista, you will see very detailed specifications there for how much ground coffee to use and how much water to use depending on the cup size that you're making and also whether it's hot or ice. But here are very simple tips. Number one, fill your basket to the top with ground coffee. If you're using coffee beans, fill it to the top with coffee beans, grind your coffee and then put your ground coffee here. Tamp it very lightly just to make sure it is level. Number two is the grind of coffee that you use. I would suggest you use medium grind coffee. It works perfectly best for me. If you're making hot coffee, go for medium grind. If you're making iced coffee, go for slightly finer grind, but still not espresso grind. Using very fine coffee might result in sediments into your brewed coffee. Number three, the water that you use in your boiler. I would suggest that you use hot water instead of cold water just to make sure that the process will be faster and your coffee does not turn out bitter. Number four, how much water should you put in your boiler? The standard is you fill the boiler just below the pressure valve. I would say that is fine for hot coffee but once you make iced coffee I would suggest that you reduce the amount of water that you use in your boiler. Do not reduce it too much, maybe about 10% less than the capacity of the boiler. Number five is the heat that you use when you brew your coffee. I would suggest that you start with high heat and then once you see the coffee start to flow out into your pot, reduce the heat to low. Now if you see it exploding or about to explode, take it off the heat immediately. It will still brew and also make sure that you put the lid back on. Otherwise you might get burnt. The water coming out or the coffee coming out into your pot will be quite hot. So those are the five tips that I would suggest you use when you brew your coffee using your mocha pot. And finally, last tip number six is to use a coffee filter. The coffee filters for mocha pots come in three sizes, at least from where I am. 56 millimeters for three cups, 60 millimeters for six cup, and 68 millimeters for nine cup mocha pots. Select the one that fits your mocha pot. Let's start by looking at a coffee brewed using mocha pot express three cup without filter. The process is the same for all the four brew that I will be showing you. Fill the basket with coffee beans, grind the coffee closer to medium, level the ground coffee, tamp lightly, clean the sides, fill the boiler with hot water,
As soon as the coffee starts to flow out of the funnel, reduce the heat. If there is any danger of the coffee exploding, take it off the heat and close the lid. The resulting brewed coffee has very little crema. Next, let's look at brewing our coffee using the same mocha pot express with filter. Same process here. Medium grind coffee, tamp lightly, fill the boiler with water. This time, we are going to place a paper filter dipped in water at the bottom of the pot. Lock the pots on and brew on high heat to start with. Here we see a more regulated flow of coffee into the pot and some crema. Next, let's look at brewing our coffee using the mocha pot breaker without filter. For this, we use the same amount of coffee. I find that the 2 cup breaker has the same basket and boiler capacity with the 3 cup mocha express. The whole process is repeated here. As we can see, without the additional paper filter, the flow of coffee is faster, but with a breaker, there is a lot of crema generated. Finally, let's look at brewing our coffee using the same mocha pot breaker with filter. Again, repeating the whole process here, except this time, we add the paper filter at the bottom of the pot. And there goes a beautifully regulated flow of coffee into the pot, smoother, finer crema generated. I also found that the crema stays longer on this one. The Brica does perform better than the Mocha Express, but it is also more expensive. The Brica costs more than double that of the Mocha Express. One could argue that using a paper filter on the Mocha Express could achieve the same result. In summary, when you use a Mocha Pot Express without filter, there is hardly any crema at all. When you use the filter, there is a little bit more crema. When we brew using the Mocha Pot Brica, there is crema regardless of filter or no filter, but the crema is not as smooth as when we use a filter. So with Brica, it's probably okay not to use a filtered paper, but if you'd really like it to be very, very creamy, very smooth, very fine bubbles or crema, then using a filter will also help. In terms of taste, the taste of the coffee using the one with the filter is slightly stronger than the one without the filter. But one thing is for sure, your coffee looks a lot better and also with more crema. If you can, use the paper filter when you brew your coffee using the mocha pot. These are very inexpensive, very easy to find. You can find them online. The price of one piece is about one pesos in Philippines and about 50 satang in Thailand. And it should be very, very similar in other parts of the world. Well, I hope that the experiment that I showed you today helps you in making sure that you brew that perfect coffee using the mocha pot. Do let me know how it goes for you following my tips here. In the meantime, if you have any questions, do let me know, comment below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll be back with more of these video tutorials. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.